Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to meet you here in Bulgaria. Lovely to meet you too. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel here in Bulgaria? I love Bulgaria. I love. I haven't visited it for many years. So uh, the last time I was here was eight years ago, but I lived here twenty-eight years ago. So it's wonderful to be back. Great. <laughs> nice to hear that. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say about color method, and why does color method work so efficiently? The Callum Method is a really good way of encouraging students to A. Learn English and B. Speak English and C. Speak English as fluently as possible. This is what we are aiming for. Okay? So the Callum Method has 12 stages, it goes from beginners right up to B2 level, almost advanced level, and all the grammar um, is included in the, the questions and answers that are covered in, in, the, in the lessons. So the main focus is to learn the language but also to learn an element of fluency. The, t the student never has to uh, worry about speaking alone. The teacher is always speaking with the student, encouraging them. We say pushing and pulling, we call it pushing and pulling, helping the student to speak as fluently as possible whilst at the same time being corrected because obviously students make mistakes all the time which is why a lot of students don't like to speak because they hear themselves making little mistakes. In a Callan lesson, the teacher corrects all the time as you make a mistake. It's very often correcting, correction by imitation, very important. So we explain in a two second, one second, what the mistake is. We don't explain, we demonstrate. We say not, what's a typical Bulgarian mistake? Um, um, I don't know, aren't. I'd say it's not aren't, but I'd say not aren't, aren't. Yeah? So we tell if it's a, if it's a mistake of, uh, immediate of grammar, immediate, by showing what you've said, reminding you what you've said, and then correcting, uh, and the, the student repeats the correction, and then we move on. And that is done all the time. Mm -hmm. Should students worry about the speed? Generally, they, they worry that they have to speak very quickly. Okay, the most, uh, speed is the, one of the most important words connected with the Callan method, but people sometimes misunderstand it, okay? The first thing is that the teacher does need to speak as quickly as they can, okay? Simply because we're not just practicing um, fluency from the students, we're practicing also comprehension. If a teacher constantly speaks slowly, to the students. The students get no sense of fluency. They will understand, but when you go to England, America, or if you try to do any business or work on the phone, you will not understand. So the speed of the lesson, uh, the, the speed of the teacher's delivery of the question helps co uh, comprehension. This is the first thing. Mm -hmm. Then when the students are answering, what, does, what do students often do? They translate. They think first in their own language. If they are given, I know in Bulgarian, if I'm trying to speak Bulgarian, if you're given time to answer, you will think. You don't know you're doing it, but you will think. And you will th then you will be pulled back into your own language. You're translating in your head. So what we want is not to give students time to think about the answer. This does not mean they answer like a, like a robot, mm -hmm. but they just don't have time to think about their own language first, because that's going to be more confusing. The idea is to speak straight into English, mm -hmm. Um, and with the teacher's help. The teacher always starts the answer, so the student is kind of pulled into the answer, so they don't have time to think. And then they are pushed and pulled as fast as possible. So they speak, they don't have to speak like me, they don't have to speak super rapid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they speak as fast as they can go, but without this constant thinking in their own language. You know? So, 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 so. No, no, now I'm speaking Bulgarian, uh, Polish. <laughs> and then speaking. No, the idea is you just speak. And you get this, it, this the word reflex. Reflex is very, very important in the Callan method. So, but you don't have to panic about the speed. The speed is not, it's not that the students are going to suddenly have some rapid fire that they don't understand. No, they, w they will. They possibly will find it a little bit difficult at first, mm -hmm. one lesson possibly, until they get used to the student, uh, the teacher's delivery. But then, with you know constant practice at, at that speed, it becomes much more natural to them, and that's very very important. Uh, because there are uh, some videos uh, of other schools from all over the world uh, where teachers they speak just like they're insane. Something like this. She means very fast. Yes, uh, absolutely fast. Maybe this is this is wrong. And yeah, I mean, teachers should teachers should speak as fast as they and the students can manage. Um, 
Generally, I watch the videos from, from, from uh, different parts of the world, some, some videos of... Especially from Asia. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. And, they, and are you talking about Callan method or, or yes, anyone? Method. If you're speaking too quickly, I don't know which country that would be, if you're speaking too quickly, if the teacher is speaking too quickly, you will usually see on the students' faces some kind of panic okay. or, or not understanding. <laughs> Actually, you know, when you see a good Callan lesson, mm -hmm. even if the teacher is speaking very fast, the students are not panicking. Yeah, and if it's their first lesson, okay, I understand. If it's their mm -hmm. first lesson, yes, it's quite a shock when you first go to a Callan lesson. Mm -hmm. It takes, you know, two or three lessons to accept, to understand what's happening here. But after that, you don't usually see shock on the students' mm -hmm. faces. Why not? Because they, A, they get, they're getting used to, their, to the comprehending, understanding the mm -hmm. question and being able to speak. And they are helped while, as they speak. They are never left to themselves. They're never, ask, you ask a question, and we have to answer on our own. No, the teacher is, is pulling the answer from them, helping them. We, we call it feeding, it's feeding the answer. Mm -hmm. But it's just helping them at, more or less at, the, uh, at their own pace, not uh, rushing them a little bit, hurrying them along a little bit, just so they don't have this time to stop and think, but never speaking so fast that they are gabbling. You know, we have this word gabbling in English, which, mm -hmm. people, which means you're not clear. Well, mm -hmm. that's, not, that's not what we're aiming what for at all. What do you recommend to students who, who have already studied some English, but they, they are uncertain to speak and, for example, they have studied up to level B2, C1, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but they still have little practice. What to do with them? What, are they what, supposed to catch up? I, I would say definitely. I mean, in most schools, I think it's very important. We, you, we give a placement, a placement test, a level test, when the student starts. And it's very important that that placement test is oral. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this because the students, of course, they may know a lot of things, a lot of words, a lot of vocabulary, a lot of grammar, mm -hmm. but it's it's all here, yeah. and you want to bring it here. Okay? Yeah. So it's very important that the placement test, I think, is not. Okay, it can be written a little, but a lot of the tests should be oral, so that the teacher has an idea of how fluent the student can speak. And very, very often, if a student is, let's say, at uh, B2 level, which in our books would might be stage eight, nine, something like, they actually need stage five or six, they need to go down a couple of stages so that they f they're fairly familiar with the, with the material, but now they can really concentrate on the fluency. And very, very often, I heard students who say they, 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 can, they, they, they start at a particular level because they think, oh yes, I've done uh, this exam, I've done that exam, so I want to start on stage so-and-so. Mm -hmm. After a few weeks, they themselves say, you know, I'm now dealing with a different thing. I'm dealing with fluency and speaking quickly. Please, can I go down a couple of levels, a couple of stages? And then they really, then they learn. And it's particularly important here for false beginners mm -hmm. to start with beginners. Yeah? You say to a student, a student may have studied for a couple of years or something, mm -hmm. and you say, well, I'm going to put you on stage one, beginners, and they don't like it. Yes, most students say, oh, no, not no. again, but they, the but, they, but can I tell you, but that usually only, they do it, they say it, and they may complain, you put them in the lesson, and they immediately realise the value. Right? Mm -hmm. And because stage one, stage one only takes, I mean, depending on how often you come to the school, it takes no more than three weeks, something like that, to finish mm -hmm. stage one. And at the end of stage one, they suddenly, they go, oh, now I'm beginning to, now I can actually speak. Now I can, you know, um, ha you know have, even have a conversation because I've learned, I've, I've got this confidence now. So it's not just what you know, it's how you can use that, that knowledge. Thank you, Alison. What did you say to uh, Bravo students? Uh, they're expecting uh, you to come, but unfortunately, they're not going to see. I'm you. very sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I have to go. I have to fly home this evening, and that was just a shame. I mean, maybe next time. I, I'm, I am hoping to come back to Sofia oh. more because I do love it, and it's You're quite welcome. easy now to fly. Uh, <laughs> so I am going to come back. I could, I could try my best to come back and visit you another time. But what I would say is just. You know, if you're going to use, start using the Callan method, believe in it. It's a bit of a strange method at first, but it really, really works. And it's proven all over the world. And I think for Bulgarians who do take their education very seriously and who do study English at school, but they just lack this, this kind of ability and this confidence to speak, I think then it'll be perfect for them. Okay. And I will come back, and I and you know you, you can watch me teaching on the Callan on the oh, you know, if you want to see what a lesson is like and what I'm like. Uh, but you know, you, uh, can I just say I speak very quickly? 
Okay? Do not think that everybody who, who is a, a good Kalan teacher or should, has to speak like me. I just naturally speak fast, but you don't have to speak like me, so don't panic. Okay? We're looking forward to your Great. next visit. Thank you very much. It'll be a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>